The portable kayak market has been exploding lately, and for good reason. It solves two major problems, which is how do I transport a kayak and where do I store it? Now, for the longest time, there's really two options when it comes to portable kayaks. You had uh, inflatable kayaks and you had skin-on frame kayaks, and both have their pros and cons. Oru Kayak came along and they really shook things up with a true folding kayak. And it is a sub 10 foot long recreational kayak, a true recreational kayak. And so in this video, we're taking the Oru Kayak Inlet for a thorough testing. We're gonna take a look at the kayak first of all, and then I'm gonna take it on the water. You're gonna follow me and we're gonna see, is the Oru Kayak Inlet folding kayak a better alternative to inflatable kayaks or skin-on-frame kayaks. Before we dive into it though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and make sure you hit the little notification bell because we got lots more tips, tricks, gear reviews, and paddling adventures coming your way. Let's get this thing built. Okay, where are the instructions? There are no instructions. Really? For full assembly instructions, scan code. Okay. Come on. Come on. So the Oru Kayak Inlet has a retail price of 899 US dollars. It's nine feet, six inches long, 30 inches wide. It weighs only 20 pounds or nine kilograms. It has a capacity of 275 pounds, or 125 kilograms, and it's primarily designed to be used in protected water. Now, the assembly of the inlet is very simple. It just uses a combination of buckles, Velcro, and a couple of bulkheads, one on each side. It has, on the inside, an adjustable footrest, an adjustable backrest, and a seat pad. Well, it's not very often that I get true joy from trying something new in kayaking. I've done so much kayaking and so many different kayaks, but this thing is really, really cool. So one thing that I did right off the bat is I expected there to be instructions in the boat and there probably was in the box, but it wasn't in the boat. And so I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. I had to go to their site. There's a QR code right in the boat for dummies like me. Uh, to quickly get a video, an assembly video. I don't have great cell service here, so come on. But I watched the video once and then threw this thing together in no time. I mean, they say three to five minutes and yeah, it probably took me five or six minutes this first time, but next time knowing the ropes, absolutely three or four minutes, it'll be, it'll be put together. And it's just a really cool design. And in the end, I mean, I'm, I can't wait to get this thing on the water to see if it paddles as well as it puts together because it's just a, it's such a cool little piece. I mean, look at that, 20 pounds. I mean, and it's solid. It feels really uh, firm. It's, uh, there's no flimsiness to it, which I was worried about. So yeah, well, I'm interest, interested to find out, does it paddle well, does it leak? And how comfortable is it? Let's give it a shot and I'll let you know. Wow. All right, so I've had about 30 or 40 minutes to paddle the inlet, and here's what I can tell you. It paddles great as a recreational kayak. You know, it's, it paddles as you'd expect a sub 10 foot long kayak to paddle. It's no speed demon, but it holds the line well. It's not flimsy at all, even though this thing, you know, it's one sheet of material, 
uh, and it's 20 pounds. It's responsive, it moves, you know, it turns very quickly. So performance wise, it's, uh, it's a nice paddling boat. A couple of little things that, you know, I've discovered along the way is uh, this little angle here. Uh, it, at the beginning, it caught my thumb a couple times, banged it on there, but I did that twice. And then I just adapted to it and I haven't even thought about it since. So no big deal. It's not like it's sharp or anything, so it's not a problem. It's just, have adapt your paddle paddling style a little for it the other thing is the bow the deck is so open which is great for a lot of people but it's open so far that uh what i've noticed is the drips from my paddle have been going straight into the kayak so i have been collecting some water in here and it's definitely not from any water leaking in it's from my paddle um the, the paddle drips. If it would came back a bit further, that would stop that. But I think that's probably the joy of some of their other kayaks, which are designed for more aggressive paddling. Comfort wise, it's a comfortable boat. It's so open here. I mean, I'm six foot two and I can sit cross-legged in this thing. I mean, how cool is that? The flip side is the seat is, for a lot of portable kayaks, it's the weakness. And in this one, it is the weakness. It's not really contoured, form-fitted for your butt. The back band, similarly, it's good. It provides solid support, but it's not as robust support as you'd get from uh, a fixed or hard shell kayak. I am six foot two, and I am definitely at the long end of this boat. In fact, the foot braces are really not even being used. Any taller than six foot two, I would say don't bother, but for someone my size, six foot two and down, absolutely. The foot brace system is actually really great. It's a very simple system, but it works It works wonderfully. I can get nice purchase from, uh, from the brace as I take my strokes, and so it lets me get some power. As for features, you know, there's not really any features to talk about. This thing doesn't have any tracks on it to attach accessories, and you know, that's not really what it's designed for. This is designed to make paddling accessible to anyone. Uh, in particular, probably people in urban environments who don't have the, the room to transport kayaks on top of their vehicle or to store, uh, to store kayaks. And for that purpose, it's wonderful. I'm not sure how durable this thing is gonna be. I mean, it feels like with general use in flat water, this thing is gonna last a long time. I mean, they say the folds last for like 20,000 folds. And I believe that. I just don't know how well it'll hold up to some good hits on rocks. That's not what it's designed for though. Keep this to calm, flat water, deep water, uh, water you're not gonna be grinding on any rough surfaces or bang, banging into rocks. Speaking of lightweight, something else that I'm testing at this, uh, at this same moment is this Werner Ovation paddle. And I'm not sure if this is actually the lightest paddle on the market, but if it isn't, it's right there. I wouldn't be surprised if it was because this thing, I'm not sure what exact weight it is, but it is light as a feather. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep cruising along here and give you some more of my thoughts in just a little bit. All right, so the question remains, is it worth it? Is the Oro Kayak Inlet worth the $900 price tag? And my answer is it can be. You know, this performs and is as comfortable as I'd expect a five to $600 hard shell kayak to be. And so you pay a premium for its portability, uh, stowability. But if that's important to you or even essential to you in order to have a kayak, then absolutely it's worth it. This is, it's a wonderful kayak and it's so light. So that not only makes it easy to transport, uh, but to carry to the water's edge and just to deal with in general. Uh, it performs just fine for the type of kayak it is. It's a recreational kayak. It's designed for flat water and, and it does a great job on flat water. Doesn't feel cheap or flimsy whatsoever, which is remarkable considering you make it like origami. 
So, uh, you know, it, it, you do pay premium for that portability, but it, if that's important to you, then it's absolutely worth it. I'm really impressed with this kayak. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please uh, give it a thumbs up. I'll leave a comment down below if you've tried this thing or any of the other kayaks. I'd love to know about how those perform. One of these days I'm gonna try some of the different models they have. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to Paddle TV, please do so because we have lots more paddling gear reviews, tips, tricks, and adventures coming your way.